I had been assigned by The New Yorker to write a profile of John McEnroe. He had one of the uh, the nights of his life in a, in a negative way. And he was throwing rackets and he was cursing. And I had never met him before. He said a wonderful thing. He said, you see me at my worst, we might as well talk. And, and we hit it off. And, and I find myself going up in an elevator in the Essex house where Miles was living with his publicist. And my knees are knocking. I'm so terrified. I have my, I have my backpack that weighs about 39 pounds. I have my uh, my Soviet-style Radio Shack uh, cassette recorder that runs on six D batteries. I have I have six extra D batteries. I have extra cassettes. I have notebooks. I have pencils. What I don't have is any knowledge of jazz. Whatsoever. But he was still Miles, and he was just still full of that uh, rebellious rebellious spirit that he had.